what I use to hook readers, as I said, left, right and centre. I came across the Meta PD in 2010. Um, Ty, who's the teacher librarian at Manor Lakes, did a talk at a Penguin PD about a whole range of stuff and the one thing that I said, I can use this tomorrow in my classroom, was book trailers. Um, I have kids that just go, reading's gay, I hate reading, I've never read a book, you can't make me, I hate... Yep. I have kids lining up to read books when I use book trailers to get them involved. So, they're valuable and underused for engaging our reluctant readers, just like a movie trailer. They're visual, so it gives you an instant in without having to bother accessing your own imagination just yet. Um, there are lots of professional ones made and there are lots of uh, ones made by kids and YouTube is absolutely full of them, so it's one way to use YouTube for good instead of evil. Okay, The Fault in Our Stars is one book that I've just read. Um, judging by the cover, I would have said, you know, it's a grade five book. It's got a nice big speech bubble and it's got big text and who cares? I don't want to read it. But once you have a look at the book trailer, the E level readers, um, again, you look at it, you think she's going to a masquerade party and it might be about things like that. If you read the blurb, it's very airy fairy and it's very um, reading between the lines. And when you're reading a blurb, you, you want it summarised for you like that. The book trailer is a lot, lot better. The Chimera are my family, and Brimstone is like a father, a really grumpy one. There are so many things I don't know about him. What he does with all the teeth he sends me out to collect. Why I can enter doors all over the world and still end up in his shop. When I was little, I used to ask him where we were, and he would just say, elsewhere, 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 elsewhere. This is the book trailer that Ty showed me at the PD that got me hooked on book trailers. It has led me to read three out of six books all about zombies, not one that's into zombies normally. I have, um, when I've used this with my reluctant boys in particular, I can have eight of them lining up at the counter wanting to be the next person to read the book. So you might even like it for yourself. Imagine you're a 13-year-old kid who's led a completely ordinary life. And nothing bad has ever happened to you. But now imagine that all that changed. People started to fall ill. Not much to look at at first. But then it gets worse. soon becomes clear, however, that nobody under the age of 14 is affected. It's only grown-ups, not all the adults, die of the illness. Some, the unlucky ones. <coughs> you get a half a dozen bunch of readers that hate, hate, hate books, you sit them down and you show them this exclusively, they are lining up to read a book like that. The book is fast paced, the book does suck you in, the book is an easy read, however if they were to pick up the book being that it is three or four centimetres thick, they'd be over it in a heartbeat. What these boys then went and did was created their own book trailers of this to promote it amongst their peers. So they storyboard a trailer, source their images and sound, book trailers for all is a great starting point. Um, they use their ICT strengths to create it, so you know they know more than us about all this stuff, so use what they know, and then they share them. Now, whether that's a parent night and having them playing, or whether it's part of their 
student lead conferences or whether it's part of a learning portfolio, or whether it's a special screening at lunchtime or whether they're just played in the library for other kids to pick their books from or whether they put them up on YouTube. It doesn't matter. They can share it how they like, when they like, keep it to themselves. It doesn't matter. But they love them and it gets kids reading. Thanks.